subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on notifications for the latest updates. Tropical Storm Josephine is struggling in the open Atlantic, down to winds of 40 miles an hour and a higher pressure than yesterday as well. Minimum pressure of 1,006 millibars as of 11 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time is August 14th. The storm may already be an open wave again, and the National Hurricane Center's aircraft reconnaissance plane is heading in to investigate the system to give us more information. It's currently located at 16.1 degrees north, 54.7 degrees west. No CDPS scale because no land impacts are expected uh, with this system during its tropical lifespan. However, its remnants could still impact Bermuda potentially down the line. Distance of miles right now, 336 from Barbados, San Juan, Puerto Rico, 669 miles away, and Bermuda itself is 1,113 miles away from the storm right now. This system is going to continue to move to the northwest and west-northwest and avoid the Caribbean islands, fortunately, and potentially have, again, some of its remnants bring some inclement conditions to Bermuda in the coming days. No warnings in effect right now, obviously, because the storm is not expected to be impacting land over the next several days. The warnings typically have to have at least 48 hours in the near future, expecting potential impacts or the prospect of them to have them in place. Here's the GFS model showing precipitation and cloud cover, the air, the influence of the storm. Up at the top of the screen, you can see a potential uh, Invest 96L potentially trying to become a tropical cyclone. Most notably, though, at least for Josephine, is the, the global model is consistently wiping out this storm over the next two to three days as it moves to the northwest and turns to the north uh, as it gets steered around this area of high pressure. Notably, again, it may already be an open wave, and that's one of the reasons the National Hurricane Center aircraft is heading out to investigate the system. Regardless of that, though, it could still attain peak winds of 45 miles an hour as a tropical cyclone or a wave. Sea surface temperatures won't be the hindrance for the storm though, 28 degrees near where it was recently, heading into areas of 29 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius, a mix of sheer and persistent dry air, especially as we head past 24 hours, will be a major hindrance to whatever is left of the system. You can see the GFS wind speed model here. It doesn't have it as a tropical storm for much longer in this model run in particular. However, it is expected that this system will have tropical storm force winds for some time, even if they're quite weak. Notably, again, you can see the other system, 96L, tried to develop at the top of the screen and in the Pacific Basin, you can see a potential hurricane developing later in the time frame as the remnants of Josephine right now at this period, around days five to six, are trying to pass through Bermuda, whatever's left of them bringing some potentially inclement conditions then, but too early to say for sure. Change of tropical storm force winds are this absolutely zero for land right now. What a great sight to see, to be honest with you. Barbados, San Juan, and Bermuda, all zero percent. This system's not expected to bring adverse land impacts in terms of wind or rain, those life-threatening conditions, but please, if you're in the Caribbean, be aware of general rip currents and higher swells that could generally occur. Here's the latest National Hurricane Center cone. You can see the storm expected to miss the Caribbean islands and then turn towards the north, northwest, and then eventually maybe even a kink towards the north, northeast. Bermuda is in the five-day cone now for remnants of the system as a tropical depression. Uh, it is expected that by day five, this thing will be dissipated. But again, notably in the National Hurricane Center forecast discussion and model forecast, this could happen significantly sooner. Here's the latest model, or not model, satellite imagery, I'm sorry about that. You can see the system right now, uh, not looking as organized as it was yesterday. Dry air, an abundance of it around the system being a significant hindrance, along with that pretty mild to moderate wind shear. As we head past 24 hours, so that wind shear is going to continue to pick up and get higher and higher, and dry air is still going to be inhibiting it during that time frame. So the system could degenerate into a low or an open wave before the forecast period currently calls for it. That's what the National Hurricane Center said specifically. But again, inclement conditions possible for Bermuda down the line, so they should monitor it in general. Stay up to date with Force 13 for the latest information on this system. We'll keep you updated. On our outlets, force13.com for web articles and the live cyclone tracker. You can also find us here on YouTube if you're not watching here already. Make sure to subscribe. We're also on Facebook. It's Force13 to find our latest posts there. And we're also on Twitter. It's at Force13 to ask us a question on that platform. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. More information can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13. Or you can become an ultimate fan right here on YouTube for perks and to directly support the project and our future endeavors in these times. You can also find us on Discord to communicate with us on our Discord server. Link is in the description below and you can message Fool13 at extension 9094.